Welcome, one and all, to Hannah Lover Live, the show where I don't know where my camera is pointed. How about that? Now I'm in a good spot. I won the prediction. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a, a prediction thing tonight. I just had an idea about that, and it should be fun. Um, we're going to play Spirit Island tonight. I am John, a.k.a. Migrant P. Uh... Logic Dolphin is going to be managing the predictions because there's going to be up to 12 of them and I'm going to be putting up my own Handelabra points, of which I have many, uh, against you all, should you wish to challenge me. Uh, or be on my side, that's fine too. Uh, of course, we will begin by mentioning that Handelabra Games believes in civil rights for everyone and in being as inclusive as possible. That includes Black Lives Matter and trans rights and other worthy, excellent causes. Uh, anyone actively working against those goals is not welcome and will not be tolerated. So be excellent to one another. Uh, I am the lead developer at Handle Arbor Games, and we're gonna play some new things in Spirit Island. And we're gonna play Second Wave. And so, uh, Logic Dolphin, if you wanna kick off the first prediction, will John win wave one? I'm going to hit random adversary, and it's going to be random spirit and board, and we're just going to go from there. So I get to vote on this prediction. And I'm putting up 1,000 points. And the amount that I'm going to vote is going to double every time. So we'll see. <laughs> so if you think... I'm going to lose wave one, Sweden River. Uh, yeah, you can't vote Logic Dolphin if since you created it. Make sure I have things turned on. Start at level zero, and assuming we do well, it will ramp up. Pending the event. So yes, if you would like to uh, make your prediction, get your prediction in while there's still time. My handle Abra points will be up for grabs. Uh, and there's some new features going to be showed. This is not a speed run tonight. Uh, it is a regular run. I also have a nice Christmas beer all lit up from Garrison. We'll see some new things on the screen, maybe, that we're working on. Vote in the prediction. Take my points. Share my points, if you dare. We're going to have predictions up the yin-yang, as we might say. So here's a nice little river start. Board B. Board B. Um, and we have Sweden, zero. Just escalation. Dahan conversion. That's bad for us in second wave, isn't it? But we do have Dahan babies. So Christmas beer is a new thing. It's like, yeah, it says at the top, cloves, demamara sugar, and cinnamon. Naughty and spiced. It definitely tastes clovey, that's for sure. Yeah, the adversary makes second wave. Second wave is really interesting with the adversary because it gets pretty hard <laughs> later on. So the stakes will be going up. Uh, so we've got, we've got uh, a build in the sands. So let's start making our way to where we need to be. Uh, I'm going to, so you might notice there's a new thing appeared up here. There's an undo button up there now. Weird. And now we can choose to add the presents in whatever order we want, which doesn't super matter for River, but it does matter for other things. Uh, we'll see how that factors in to different things in the future. But this is fine-grained undo support, if you want to call it that. Uh, I want to be near this. I do want to get to Han in here for the Ravage, but I need to be next door to that. So we're going to go down the coast. 
And we'll do sort of classic, classic river opening, I think, here. Could go for River's Bounty next turn, I guess. We could always just play River's Bounty again next River's Bounty's like as good. It's better than River's Ben Boona Vigor because you get more out of it and you also get the energy. So there's really no huge difference. I guess with events, maybe you want the energy sooner. So I've been done 12 waves without adversary. Well, you got to start with wildfire. <laughs> All right, and they explored into the mountains. That's fine. So yeah, I mean, this land's gonna take care of itself, to be fair. Uh, we could, st I wanna stop that interior build really the most, don't I? Let's stop this build. Let this blight, but the town gets destroyed, right? Maybe we, we we're probably not. Actually, we could flash floods of the, the town there, couldn't we? Now that we're in range, that seems like a good idea. Let's send all these guys away, because there is an event. An explorer might do plus one damage, right? So, and let's get to Han. We don't want solo to Han, right? Because of uh, Sweden. But we'll do this for now. It's going to be a solo to Han either way, right? They might steal to Han, it's true. Uh, so, yeah, we can flash floods the town, and that might not blight. And then maybe we'll, I don't know, do something about this. We could also flash floods this and kill the city. That might be better. I took that to Han away, though. I guess I could go back and not do that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Since there's disease here, we're likely to find a defend card, right? It's probably fine. Blight is bad in second wave, so it's more bad. More bad than normal. Uh, let's get presents. Just into the back here. Well, actually, Sacred Sight here is going to be good. Get Sacred Sight coverage. And... I don't know. Presence in the back. And play these cards. And you might have noticed uh, Reclaim, it didn't pop up automatically. You can now click to Reclaim at any time during the Spirit Phase, just like the rules say. So you can do that. All right. Give me my energy. Destroy the town. Unanticipated ways. Missionaries arrive. If only we had a ton of sunshine. And actually, that energy from Boon and Vigor... <laughs> perfect uh we needed it exactly at this moment cities do plus three damage D we get disease preserved that's all super good this is lovely yeah you might forget to reclaim but that's you know we could add a confirmation we'll see we'll see if it becomes an issue There's actually no real, like, technical reason, gameplay-wise, why you'd need to reclaim whenever you want, but um, until Jagged Earth, there's some spirits that care about it, so. But uh, it was part of what we're doing with the the undo support in the growth phase, in the spirit phase, so it's, it's all part of that. The same sort of change is in effect for um, Sharp Fangs. You can undo its thing. All right. What now? We got a Ravage 4 happening here next turn. And no way to currently deal with that. 
Uh, if we flash buzz the explorer next turn, then two to Han survive to kill the city. So that's like it's kind of the worst case scenario. Um, I think stopping this build in the back corner is pretty important. Stopping the blight build is also important, but I mean that's not changing visibility right now, is it? And there's the Han. Yeah. Okay. Kill this guy. And River's Bounty. Now we have stage two, so we can tidy up any singletons, maybe. Tidy up this guy. This guy's in danger. Either of them are in danger, though, right? So it's not like... I guess... If I target this land, I save both of them. Because if they explore jungles, then that escalates also. Unless I flash flooded that guy. It all depends on what my power card is, right? The odds say to do this, but if a power card, you know, gets the guy out of there, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just let's just do this guy. Bring him in. Bring him in. Maybe we get one damage per Dahan in the fast phase. That's a major power. Uh, we're going to reclaim cards. And there is a little bug here. It's like, you can still reclaim one, but we're not doing that. That's a glitch that will be solved. Lure of the Unknown. That's the kind of thing I was thinking about. Lure of the Unknown. Also, defend three in a mountain. Hey, look. Okay, that's actually what I want. I mean, I love Lure of the Unknown. Love a good lure. But Dark and Tangled Woods kills this city, kills the explorer. It's all beautiful. Then we can still flash floods that guy. All right, flash floods him. Defend that. Make more Dahan. Make too many Dahan. We do an event. We might want Boon and Vigor, but we can also, if they don't happen to go into the mountain here, we can save this guy. So let's do that. All right, defend three, I mean, might not be enough. Got a fear card, though. Flash Flood, stop this build. Let's see. Urbanization. There are no lands with at least two towns. Ha ha. And there's no Dahan, solo Dahan to get converted. No, that's not a thing. That's a different, that's a different one. Just reminds me of that. But the... They are pushing two guys out of here. Oh, and they're not even ravaging because there's disease. That's annoying. All right, I think I want these Dahan to be in this jungle because it has blight. And I definitely don't want them here because they could get converted by Sweden. They're not ravaging. It's, it's not what I wanted. <laughs> Gather town into a coastal land. Well, I may as well gather this town in just to centralize it. Things. Oh, wait. Hang on. I can gather this town. I didn't notice. There's a town here that stops visibility to the back a lot by doing that. So let's do this. All right, no build, no ravage, explore, jungle, and then they don't go into number eight, and they didn't convert anyone. Take that. And we can make them not ravage. I mean, the ravage is potentially safe, but pending the event, right? We're not going to count on that. Let's put him in here with the super innate business. Uh... Let's just get these guys. They're not. They're not exploring here any, anymore, are they? Where do I want the Dahan now? I guess here is actually dangerous, right? Because if they explore mountains, they can't see these mountains to explore right now. I mean, there might be an event where they get plus range, but I think that event is only stage one, right? Maybe it's terror level one. Go away, fruit fly. This beer's for me. Why was there still a fruit fly in December anyway? Alright, now we can reclaim one. I 
we want. Uh, we don't actually need to worry about the Ravage. Uh, let's reclaim River's Bounty. I think we're not going to be able to afford Flash Floods, and we probably don't want it. I guess it is, like, damage. I guess. We're going to want to reclaim one and gain a card. Let's see what our card is first. Uh, so, gain a power card. And let's take a miner. Ooh, I like those elements. Add strife. If we can play that, we're getting our super innate, hyper innate, the biggest innate of all the innates. Which means if we can afford flash floods, which we cannot. Well, hang on. Yeah, we want to play four cards. So we're only going to have two energy. So we're not going to play, be able to play Flash Floods. So we won't be able to destroy the city, but it's going to be at one health. And so maybe something helps with that. I don't know. Uh, maybe make a Sacred Site in the back here, I guess. Sure. Uh, then let's get River's Bounty, because it's cheap. And it has elements, and now we have all our elements all the way. Let's get uh, the event that needs water. That would be nice. All right. So far, everything is well in hand. Uh, add Explorer to a land without invaders or Dahan. Uh, each beast destroys an explorer, you say? Boop. <laughs> Love it. I can use a slow power now instead of later. Uh, you know what? If I push all these towns into here... You know what? I just blow up all the towns. I don't need to push all the towns. Blow up all the towns. Then they can't see B6. So, let's do that now. There would be some benefit to waiting, but that's also they don't see B5, so it's quite useful. They explore the mountain where they are. Good job, friends. And... Yeah. They're kind of not really doing anything now. <laughs> I can wash away these guys, just like into B1, so they don't... I mean, I don't know. Stripe the city, they don't build because of disease. I'd rather they don't use up the disease, but... Pushing one Dahan is actually... No, it's not too dangerous, because I can push the Dahan into the jungle. Alright. Add Stripe. Push one Dahan. They all take one damage. Sorry, guys. You'll, be, you'll get better. Oh, I can just gather them back. How about I? I can gather them here. Look at that. Gather my friends into the back. And wash you folks away so that... That Ravage is just nothing. If it even happens. Uh, okay. Reclaim all our cards. Yeah, I'm not... Don't need to reclaim one. Let's gain... Could get a major power. Actually, a major power is going to be good to pass along, right? So, let's grab a major power and think about passing it along. <laughs> Sweep into the sea! Doesn't destroy the city, but this does. I can't afford it. Uh, but... That's exciting. Cleansing Floods, actually, I could afford. And remove Blight. <laughs> I don't mind the one Blight on the island. If we destroy that city, we win. Almost. We still have two Explorers, which they get... I just, like, push the guys back and then <laughs> Cleansing Floods them. <laughs> Uh, 
Manifest would probably end it. Both of these are pretty good for... Um, finishing up or for passing along. Yeah, the... The problem is the city isn't ravaging this turn. Be nice if they were. I don't want them to use up the disease, but they are. There's nothing really we can do about that, right? We can't do enough damage with Tiger's Hunting. I guess, oh, Tiger's Hunting and Flash Floods kills the city, doesn't it? Maybe it's that. Oh, I don't have presence in the jungle. Who, who did this? Uh, I don't know. It's not a huge decision here. Like, the city's already dead. I would just use this to, like, remove Blight. <laughs> it's not really the greatest thing. Uh, I guess I could use that and my innate power in B2 to kill everything, and then there's nothing on the island, and then we win then? Except they might explore this sand. Let's do Cleansing Floods. I can actually play it, so... Uh, we don't need this. Five energy, and then we actually get our hyperinate <laughs> also. <laughs> oh, man. Love River. Such a fun spirit. You never... Oh, I don't quite. I'm missing the, I'm missing the mountain. But you know what? That's, that's quite all right. Have an energy. Aided by air. Weave lies. The next normal ravage in the jungle. Yes, it's such a terrifying ravage. Uh, we can actually afford this. We have to forget Twilight Fog. I think we're just going to ignore Curiosity. Oh, we get to have a uh, wilds. I love it. Uh, we add a town. Like, sure, have a town. What's that going to do? Maybe they won't even explore there. They will not explore there. We're blowing up this town in a second. Um, add beast to a jungle without blight. Oh, that was automatic. And add wilds to... Yeah, also this jungle in the back corner. Seems okay. They're not going there, for sure. And they explore B1. Good job, team. You sure did it. Uh, okay. And so now we just win. The question is, how do we win? We send... We have the threshold on this, right? Yeah, so we just send all the invaders into B2. And we blow it up. Make more Dahan. Just to make sure we got lots of Dahan. Unfortunately, we don't get to remove that Blight. We could <laughs> use this power here. Uh, they are going to Ravage right now. You know what? They're going to Ravage. And just blow up. So what's the downside? Just letting them blow up. There's, oh, there's an event. The event could do something. It's unlikely it would do anything, but you know what? Just blow them up. Let's get on with it. Add one to the terror level one victory stats. All right. Prediction result, Logic Dolphin. John won the first wave with a score of 35 points. And I'll click second wave and a new prediction can come up. Okay, set aside a power card. I wonder what it's going to be. Click a beast to remove it. Uh, I'm going to leave the middle beast. Lands with three or more, push one to Han to adjacent lands until there are two or fewer. Is 
that. There's evenly spread to Han. I love it. And now we have more than nine to Han. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to Han. We almost doubled the Dahan population. Uh, the events helped. I'm just going to spread them out, maybe. I, we're still on Sweden, though, right? So we don't want singletons around, especially on the coast. Uh, let's remove these singleton guys, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I still have to remove another one. Here's there's where the city is, but eh. We're not going to need one where the wilds are, right? But they're not exploring there, so it's safer. Yeah. This one. I don't know. I don't know. Logic. All right, I must predict for the second wave, it is Thunderspeaker. Sweden level one. I am predicting with my custom amount of points, 2,000 points up for grabs in the second wave. Sparky Wolf says, I will not win it. Well, we'll see. Get your votes in. Thunderspeaker is happy with this mini Dahan. Uh, oh, right. I'm adding presents to the two lands with the most Dahan. So I have a lot of flexibility here. Actually, getting on this coastal land here is pretty good because we can then blow up that city, maybe. I'm going to put one in the back mountain and one in the front mountain. And we get wetlands. All right. So, wetlands are not mountains, to be fair. Uh, we can easily sudden ambush this guy and, or actually sudden ambush this guy and be ready for the, actually I rather, oh, this, this is helping make visibility, but this is preserving our wilds here if we, the jungle comes up, right? I always sudden ambush and move Dahan in. So I think we're going to go add presence, gain energy. Get presence in here. Actually, if I get presence in there, I could manifestations clear the city like immediately. Uh, I didn't have new information revealed. I wonder that must be, I wonder if that's an issue because of the second wave. Anyways, I'm gonna change where I put my presence. And I'm gonna put it here because then I have four damage right away. If they explore mountains, it's even better. Let's do that. And we can bring this singleton out of here too to tidy up the singletons while we're at it. Yeah, we can use Gather the Warriors to get two Dahan into here for the Ravage next turn. I think that's a good plan. Hello, Seamus. Welcome. Oh, and it is mountains. Cool. That means we stop the build here by manifesting exactly. Let's gather. Yeah, one from here, one from here. Just thinking about stage two, right? Let me give words of warning there. In the fast phase, we still have this guy, but um, I don't know. We'll deal with it. Deal with it. Uh, actually, no, we don't have a fire. Can we get a fire? No, we can't quite get to a fire. It's like someone planned that. Uh, we could reclaim here. 
That would let us. That would really get, let us get a step ahead by sudden ambush. No, we wouldn't have enough energy though, right? But we'd probably get a card that lets us stop this build. Um. But I'd rather just reclaim for the. I can just reclaim and destroy it in the ravage, right? Like, sure they get to explore there, but that's probably probably better to not worry about it too much and get it get, get up to the two energy. Let's do that. Add presence to land with Dahan. Actually, don't want to be here in case there's like. Embitters do plus damage in lands with presence or whatever. Um, put one here. And put one here. We'll play Voice of Thunder, not for any particular reason. It could be fear, it could be moving to Han where we want. With also his elements in case air comes up from the event. And defend here. Add town to a land with explorer slash town. Well, we don't want to click there. Also, Sweden won because heavy mining, by the way. That's a thing. We definitely don't want to click there. Uh... We're going to add disease to the sands or mountains with the most. So right now it's a tie between these places. And each route with these two to Han gets one energy. We get one. Excuse me. I think I'm going to put it in here. It gets a disease. So I guess I could put it here and then it would have got a disease. But eh. If we can keep a disease for the future, that would be better. Hey, we got a fear card. They explored. Ah, jungles. Yeah, so they do get to take away the wilds token on us. I'm honestly, like, don't know that I need to voice of thunder to move to Han right now. The two fear, because I get, like, if I want to, like, maybe get to Han in here, we do a stage two, right? So I don't want to, like, have Dahan in places where they might get a conversion. Uh, we're reclaiming next turn, so we can't place presence. We want to be where we want to be. We can sudden ambush this guy so that, yeah, we're going to have two energy. Or actually, we're going to have four energy. Um, we can sudden ambush and words of warning next turn and maybe we get another power card that we like better but those two powers are great so i just want to have dahan here already so let's gather them from here bring our presence we don't have to bring our presence but obviously it's usually a good idea to come with and and sudden we just gather up to right you may gather. So yeah, I just won't gather and destroy the explorer. They don't build it all this turn. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. And we get a fear card. So far so good. So we want to gain a power card. Probably a couple of miners. Defend for zero cost. that useful though we could take like drug for the elements or call to migrate for thunder speakering zero energy is nice though and we always have the air if there was a token that said add wilds or add disease i might cl have clicked on it for second wave purposes let's take sap the strength it's just like it's cheaper Really, that's the reason. Saves me an energy many turns. Promises of protection. Poisoned dew. Don't really need the, like, 
health bonus of promise protection now that we have some really good defend. It is also free. This is slow. I guess, I mean, Poison Dew is like build prevention. But we're playing, we're not playing it this turn. So I'm not super excited about it. Um, let's grab Promise of Protection. Gives us fast Dahan movement, guaranteed, which is nice. So yeah, Sap the Strength and Sudden Ambush takes care of mountains and jungles. We'll try to take care of this soon. And this is even, even if they get like plus three damage, we're okay. So that's nice too. Which they won't. That's not an event, but. Christmas shopping. Yeah, no steam vents yet, but, you know, we're, we're working on it. An event. <clears throat> Cultural assimilation. Haha, jokes I knew. There's no cities. Oh. And the beasts destroyed the town there. Perfect. Oh, man. They're not going to be able to see anything. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, well, they were going to remove that explorer on us anyways. That was a really lucky event, that beast. But now we lost the beast. We have to get a beast back. They can only see these four lands. All right. They explored that sand. Guess where we're gathering the warriors? Into that sand. Uh, gather two. We might be able to just blow up with manifestations everything here and win the game. Well, they might explore B1 or B2 or B4, but, but not B4? I don't know. What are we doing? Uh, if we play this, we probably get our town destroys. We might win too soon. We don't have a card. We don't have a major card. A major power. We need to be careful not to win too soon and not have a good card. I mean, Manifestation of Power and Glory is, like, decent as a uh, the card to keep, but... Uh... Yeah, if we blow up these towns, we're at three out of four fear. So we don't win immediately. We're one fear away from winning. Unless the event makes fear, which it could. It's like, I don't want to win too hard. Uh, I can probably get... Yeah, if I play this and something else we can get enough to Han here to destroy all the towns I would love to like not have them use up the disease we could just reclaim and gain more power cards and maybe like because uh, even just this is four damage they're not building like that's enough to take care of the land but maybe we find a power card that lets us uh, we find a major power right that lets us uh, that we can send forward let's do that Trees and stones speak of war. <laughs> Infinite vitality. Amazing. Unrelenting growth. These are all great. <laughs> Blazing renewal. If we had destroyed presence. I mean, that might happen in, as a set-aside power. I don't necessarily need to play this power this turn. It's just... This does add wilds. I like the adding wilds. I, I, can I afford that? I can afford that, but not if I want to play Manifestations as well. I mean, I can't play Manager Power and Manifestations, can I? Because I could take a second Major and maybe find one that would like be good to keep and uh, be as good as... Because none of these are going to get like take care of the winning the game for me. Is the thing... I mean, just defending this in the next turn does 
win the game, doesn't it, also? So maybe that's fine. Maybe we take this and we think about playing it, because it adds wilds. I think we get rid of cards that aren't free. Well, yeah, sudden ambush can go. We're, we should be winning in the Ravage at the latest. Pillar of Living Flame, Terrifying Nightmares, Talons of Lightning, Bigger the Breaking Dawn. I mean, this just like ends the game now. Almost. We're one, one damage short from it winning the game. Could we get another fear? I don't think so. Not in the fast phase. These don't say fear. If they did, that would be tempting to preserve that disease and win the game. But we're right now... This is three energy. We have only one energy left. And none of these cards say fear or get enough to Han close enough to, uh, to do it. That's unfortunate. That would be worth it, probably. So what do I do? I think I play Unrelenting Growth and like Voice of Thunder. We get tons of Dahan in here, blow up the towns, add a wilds and like win the fast phase or whatever and take this just in case we need it next turn. I think that's probably fine. And this is the power we keep. I mean, Talons of Lightning is a nice one to keep, too. Or Pillar of the Living Flame. I mean, Talons of Lightning is ridiculous getting the threshold. So is Living Flame, but destroying town in each adjacent land can be super good. Terrifying Nightmares is basically a whole fear card. And a half. Also good. I guess that's another idea. Terrifying Nightmares. We just stop the build, don't we? We do preserve the disease. We stop the build. That's interesting. I, I like keeping the disease. We're not going to get enough moons, but we're going to get two fear. And we can still, like, chase them there and blow them up. I don't know that we have enough energy to do that, but they're not doing anything, right? They're not doing anything. <laughs> so why don't we take Darvang Nightmares and use that? What are they doing? Nothing. We get two fear. We can play one more card, uh, which won't do anything. So that's kind of the problem, is that we don't do anything. Is that a problem? Not doing anything. You tell me. We should make sure we can destroy both these towns, right? Uh, if we play Unrelenting Growth and Voice of Thunder, we unlock that innate. make them do something yeah uh we will have two air and two sun so this is pull two push two we have enough behind to kill all the towns so that does work and then we get to use this to add wild somewhere like in the back again which is just really handy so yeah i don't know which of these cards is unrelenting growth a good one to take for a free it's pretty good in second wave. Also add additional wilds and remove blight. Yeah, so let's just take bigger or terrifying nightmares for next turn if we can afford it. Yeah, bigger is good. We'll probably be able to kill whoever we want. I don't know. We probably don't need any defense anymore. Nothing is happening. 
Yeah, two and two. That gets these two to Han or these two to Han to come over and help blow things up. And they might explore, like, these lands. <laughs> Maybe they get plus range on the explorer. Maybe. Oh, no, wait. I don't have an animal. I don't get to move to Han. Hang on. Is this... Okay, I, I can do it with this because I can gather them early. And then... Push them with my innate. It's like, I didn't get my innate. I needed the... I got... Only the the other part. All right, that's that should do it. All right. Now we have what we need. So let's put them in here in case the light card is like, or the event is like, remove light. It could happen, right? And actually, since they can't explode the coast, let's just bring these guys in. In case wetlands comes up. Oh, they're getting a city. They ruined my plan. Slightly. They also will not ravage, but the disease is going to go away. Push two. They're retreating. Oh, they are ruining my plan. Well, not really, because I can still destroy the, the town. But uh, they're going to have a city, which we're then going to have to kill in the ravage. Look at these guys trying to screw me up. Let's stay here. They do not explore in lands with at least two to Han, so they're not exploring anywhere unless they pick coastal and explore B3. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I'll take that win after they, the event screwed us up a little bit. <laughs> and a no, no explore. A no prize. All right. Uh... I'm going to gather the warriors and click here and gather zero and push two. And destroy town. And unrelenting growth into the back jungle again. Uh, let's go for three card plays. We could actually, oh, we almost got to destroy the, if we had had the elements, we'd be like, oh, destroy the city. Cool. Bye. Uh, can we afford to play three cards next turn? Like, there's no case where we can, right? Unless we reclaim. Because we got rid of our zero cost things. But Voice of Thunder, I should have kept my defend card, but oh well. Um... Wondering if we can get the elements. We can't really. We just have to hope we can defend that city. It is on the edge. We could reclaim and try to find a different... Uh, maybe we just do that and, and find more cheap cards to play. That's probably better than taking the elements, right? Find another defend card. We forgot the card we shouldn't have ever got. It's fine. We Who could have predicted that one city thing? Oh, we could just gain four energy and, like, yeah, actually play three cards. We could play this. Yeah, okay. GG. Uh, but again, hang on. I want... Let me undo that group. You can always undo back to the start of the spirit phase, but you can use your individual buttons. Uh, I might get a card that adds wilds or whatever, right? But I won't have enough energy. I only get two energy. So I can't play bigger unless I click this. That's the... That's the thing. So... We could also find, like, a Blight removal card or something. But... I don't want to rely on that chance. I think we got the wilds that we wanted. Let's just go... Go with it. We want to get Promises of Protection... We want to move to Han anywhere? I think they're probably fine where they are. Wow. 
way. These are presents by the go. Does it matter? No. And like we just win as soon as this happens. None of these do anything. Okay. Second consecutive, no invaders on the island, terror one victory. Logic Dolphin, you know what to do. Yeah, that was like super handy Thunderspeaker being the second spirit when there were like a million to Han. Uh, 46 points. Time for the third wave. Sparky Wolf, maybe next time. All right. There'll be a new prediction coming right up. I don't know when. Does it like dismiss this message? Whenever the next prediction comes up. Uh, will John win the third wave? I'm going to predict yes. With 4,000 points. And I'm going to set aside... Ooh, it's either Vega the Baking Dawn or Unrelenting Growth. I think it's Unrelenting Growth. Wild and Blight Removal. We have Green and Sweden Level 2. BRB, so I better not win, you know, in 90 seconds. Uh, they moved the Blight. Probably good, since this just seems like a horror show. Their uh, second wave didn't have to move any of our Dahan. Uh, they ended up going into the wetlands. Which actually means we can probably stop both builds. Because we can add a presence. We can get a sacred site in each place. And stop them building. Which is super convenient. Can we overgrow? Yeah, if we... Oh no, I don't think we can do both, can we? We don't have the energy. They, we, don't, we don't have the energy to do that. We can stop one of the builds, but not both. But then we could push the town away, so. Or blow it up. I want to stop this one because of the visibility to preserve our wilds token. And if we go into B1, B1 isn't the best place to be in, though. I'd rather be in B4. If I play Stem the Flow and... Oh no, I can play Proliferation. I'm solo. Solo can play Proliferation. Yeah, in second wave, you play the same adversary each game. And if it stayed on the healthy side, it increases the adversary level by one. If the Blight card stayed on the healthy side. So it gets harder and harder because the adversary goes up if you're doing well. Enjoy dinner, Sparky Wolf. I will entertain you as best I can. So I always forget, in solo mode, you can proliferate yourself. Which means even with the one energy... Because normally you can't afford to get overgrown a knight on the first turn. Like, ever. But we can. Actually, destroy sacred sites to block both builds. By putting down three presents right now. And I think that seems like a great first start that's going to cripple us later. So let's do it. All right. Energy per turn. We're going to not get to uh, maybe we go I like to go on the card play track to get a real two card plays on the second turn. Proliferate and actually Fields Choke lets us like move this town like Maybe into here. Just like clear away the back a little bit. Because we're not going to be anywhere where there is a town. I, actually, you know what? We could. We could play this. Sorry, this? No, we can only play either one. It's like we could play this or. Oh, wait. We only play one of them. We could play this and Creeper's Tear, but we can't. Creeper's Tear and that. We can't do both. Do we even want to play this card? 
I think playing this is good because we can move this town or we could move to Han out of this place where they're going to get converted. Uh, might be a good idea. Hopefully the event doesn't give explorers plus one damage and screw us all over. That could totally happen. All right, we're going to go and we can get two card plays on our own. by our presence placement next turn. We can defend somewhere. I don't know. All right, prevent build. Prevent build. Always love a prevent a build. They explore sands. So that tells me even more, move this town. Move this town because then they don't build a city there. And actually, we could then overgrow. We could overgrow into it and stop the build there, too. That's not a bad idea. So, push this town, and they're not going to be able to explore into the back at all. So, that's nice. And Creeper's Tear. Wrapping some presents, take Walker. That's all right. Being terrible at wrapping presents is is a mood. All right. So, I want two energy, which I can get, but I want two card plays. Well, I don't even need two card plays, do I? Uh, I want to put both my presents in here, which I can do with Overgrow. And we destroy it, and they don't build here. Yeah, just keeping them, like, all towards the front of the island, like, this seems so good. So, let's see if we can manage that. So, to do that, we have to add two presents to sands, which we need to use this. We don't have to take... We can take destroy presents, but I want the two... I need the two energy. And we probably want to take from card plays, so we have two card plays all the time. And then we'll start taking from destroyed presents uh, later. And I get an extra present. Oh yeah, I can start putting presents into this B4. Oh, and actually, yeah, this is gonna let me destroy a town here. Yay, destroy a town. Cool, that seems like a plan. Also, I have a uh, defend, which I can't use because I don't have a secret site, but I'm going to assume I don't need it. Actually, I'm going to have a secret site right now. We want to go up the energy track or the plays track. What are we doing next turn? Reclaiming and gaining a power card, which means we get one more presence. Which could be a plant or a card play. I think it's going to be more useful for it to be a card play, right? So let's go that way and get three card plays next turn. And now we can pop a defend in here just in case they get plus damage. I think the more interior one is probably better to defend. I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Maybe it matters. Maybe I'm dumb. They did not get plus one. And we could act to ease, ease the drought by forgetting a card would be the only way we could do that. We could forget one of our water cards. Uh, otherwise, we would potentially have to add blight to this sands. And minus one health. That's really interesting. That would let us destroy a city here or two towns. You know what? I don't have a problem adding presents, and I'd rather not forget my cards right now, so let's let the land wither. Sorry, land. And there's no beasts, and defend one per Dahan, so we didn't have to defend or we didn't need to worry about it. It does lack water, so we're going to add Blight here, which means we're going to have to deal with that by popping a defend in there probably 
No build for you. And they explore. They do manage to get to that mountain because of that jungle, but... Oh, and I don't have a sacred site, so I can't use Stem the Flow. But you know what? I'd rather they didn't build there. That's really what it comes down to. It's fine. I played it for, like, I needed the plant, right? Maybe I didn't. It was free. I played it. Don't talk to me. <laughs> Let's get a minor power. We are green. We have no energy. Animated rack root. I wish it was fast. We do have presence in a lot of places, so if they explore in places, there are Dahan conversion problems. We could actually stop this ravage by just pushing the town out of there. With call to isolation, we have options here. Could also stop that with at the cost of blight. This could help us deal with our sands blight problem. So yeah, we got some. Dolphin is unreasonably upset at my hilarious gaff that isn't I think it wasn't even a gaff necessarily. I can just defend two here, right? With, like, I, I play any card that has water on it, which I will because Fields Choked moves this town away. Okay, you're a boomer. Uh, this is concerning. So I guess, I mean, Rack Root is good elements for me and whatnot. Melting is also good elements. And Blight Removal is handy, but Rack Root... I think Rack Root I'm going to be able to use, like, either to add... I mean, it, it just doesn't do very much. That's the only problem. Certain Explorer, I mean, it's not... I guess Steam Vents is even better. Uh, Uncanny Melting, I almost never take Blight Removal, but Second Wave is a different story. And there is Blight in all the Sands. If I play that, I'm going to take three card plays, right? If I take three card plays, what do I pick? And I could also play Proliferation if I wanted to. I'm only going to have two energy. For three plays means two one costs and at most. Well, or a two cost and zeros, but that's probably not going to be the case when Prolif is just as good for one less. Unless I want the fear. So what am I playing? If I pick one of these cards. We're going to... This Ravage is hopefully nothing. This is hopefully Defend 2, given a Sacred Sight here. Well, we can add Presence here with our thing. Um, probably thinking of Fields Choke to push this town into here, which is like Danger Zone, but like we'll probably try to do something there. If jungles ever comes up. If jungles comes up, there's only one jungle to deal with, so we can focus on it, which is nice. Um, so Fields Choked is kind of a must. Um, we could always put Presence in there and Stem the Flow plus Overgo to destroy the town, alternatively. But this does come with water, so but then so does Stem the Flow. I don't know. To put presents in there, we need to gift into there, which we could do. So there's different different ways we could do it. I don't mind fields choked. 
Uh, stamina flow I like to be able to use here to like combo with with my stuff. So I don't know. <laughs> so let's go with that line. So fields choked is card one. That puts us at water and plant there. We just need to play any other plant card and we're probably fine. If we wanted to be really sure, we could play more water plant. Like we could do stem the flow and proliferation or something like that. Which means maybe we don't even play one of these cards. We just play our own innate cards and we pick something to play later. Yeah, I mean, plant is not hard to come by for green. It's the water and the moon that's harder to come by, like getting the water and the moon. So if you always have the water and the moon, that's why I'm looking at Uncanny Melting. I'm clicking on Uncanny Melting. I don't think I'm playing it this turn because I want, I think, defend four here to be sure. Defend two just doesn't feel good enough there with a the blight there. I don't want two cascades happening. So uh, let's add presence. We want three card plays. If I click, yeah, I need, I need the plant and water on another card, and then another plant card. That gets us a town here, and we can push a town out of here. And if we want, we could put presence in there and kill a town directly here. So, and then push somewhere else, I guess, or push to Han or or whatever. That seems okay. Uh, and actually, yeah, in case they get a plus one damage, I can get a Sacred Sight in here. That gives us a little safety net, right? And I don't know that we need to go to four card plays just yet. Let's go keep going up the energy track. Defend four. Urbanization! Is it? Yeah. Gross. Uh, push two to Han from a land. So they don't, they aren't doing any plus damage or anything. So we can kill this explorer. Yeah, and actually this saves these guys from stage two. So thanks. If they had pulled jungle, that would be another town there. So uh, I'll allow it. They pull jungle. Aha, take that, Sweden. All right, so that means we're even more worried about this. Um, and I would have pushed the town into here. We would need, like, to be able to defend this, we need a major power. <laughs> There's, oh no, actually we just block it, right? We just block it, we're green. Throw everything in there. What are you talking about? Throw everything in there, we're green. Keep our sacred sight flowing. Uh, they're going into the jungle, so good luck to them. That's what I'm saying. B2, I guess, is a problem. Double blight. We can just defend it so it's one blight, though. That's probably fine. Uh, if we play these, this and this and get a plant, we defend two, which stops the double blight. We could gain another power card. I don't, I'd rather not, uh, actually we could gain a major power. We're gonna, this is three energy and we're gonna get plus three. Let's take a major power and see. What would we forget if we were gonna do that? Uncanny melting. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather not forget one of these cards. I guess that's the thing. But I'd also... I guess next turn... We could take a major next turn. So get a minor now. Forget Uncanny Melting next turn. 
That's probably better. We get then we can have even more energy to work with for, for that turn. Steam vents. It's finally, steam vents. Uh, oh hey, look, defend. Look at this perfect card for green. Look at those elements and defend three in a mountain. We actually defend this properly. Even so. I'm just going to keep piling all my presents into B4 because that's necessary. Uh, I'm going to take off... Do I want to take off destroyed presents? We're overgrowing it at night, and we don't need those other things this turn, so let's take off destroyed presents. That was a great pull, Dark and Tangled Woods. We get defend 5, which probably is enough. And that's probably fine. We can overgrow maybe into here in case they go in here. Just like to get get in there. I mean, it, this is fine, but I'd rather not lose the presence if, for no reason if they do bump up there. Let's go four card plays because we're reclaiming next turn. We got lots of cards. All right, an event. Wow, our whole zero air. Uh, so, rising interest, return the top card of the invader deck to the box. We're not concerned about the escalation, so that's nice. Uh, so if we do, like, I don't know. I don't know if that matters. Return the fear card to the box. And... We actually can't even do the second thing, so it's just like, why are you even talking about this, John? This is not a thing you could do. Stop talking. <laughs> uh, okay. Add a town to a land without a town. Uh, beasts are going to be added to a jungle without blight. I like that. And we get to add wilds. I like that, too. I want this town to go, like, over here, where it's not going to expand the visibility range to these two lands. So, here we go. And I'll just maybe blow it up. Uh, add beast to here. Add wilds to a place where they might explore, or a place where want to keep the wilds. I guess this sands, right? Like, if they explore sands, then they just don't go here. Sands is potentially up. Wetlands is up, but they can't actually see the wetlands, so... I could go coastal, I guess. Like, B1 is... I'd rather just stop the interior, though. Wetlands are easy for me. Remove one for land of disease. There's no disease. And I honestly don't mind if them build a town here. Build a town. It's just like there's so much stuff. I'll just permit the ravage. And they explore back into B7 again. Sure. Time for a new beer soon. All right. So actually, the best place for Uncanny Melting is here. Because there are invaders. And Blight. And Creeper Stare, I get two uses on it. You know what? B4 is a jungle. B4 is a jungle, and it's got so much stuff that I'm just gonna kill the town in B3 because it's a it's a risk of escalation right now. And B4, I can just destroy presence to stop the ravage because I'm green, and I totally knew that the whole time. I could always do that. I'm so smart. Reclaim cards. Uh, do we want a major? I mean, we're obviously not defending this unless we happen to get defend 10. Which is, there is a minor power that says that. That is a thing. Is it gone? It is. It's gone. So we're not getting that. If we take minor, there is a major that says that. There's one major. I mean, there's claim, and then there's also, like skip actions in the land or like blow everything up but not for four energy 
So it's definitely just destroy presence here. And so I don't know that a major really does a lot for me besides potentially being able to like stop this. Are there miners that can stop two explorers? There's not a whole lot, right? That can top stop two explorers in the fast phase. This one gets us a wilds, which is nice. Is there a fast card that deals with two explorers? I don't think so, right? I don't think that's a thing. I guess there's like stop the build, but you need to Han. Or build a nice hunt, you need to Han. We don't have we don't have a way to get to Han in there. Of course with majors, there's majors that just like do a bunch of damage in the fast phase. Have fun. If we take a major power, it means that we're probably only playing these two cards and maybe one cheap card so we don't get to play overgrown and i actually you know what that's fine like we just take a card that costs three or or four ideally three or less and we forget uncanny melting because that doesn't do anything we also need a card to uh hey look paralyzing sprite we need a card to pyroclastic flow oh Pyroclastic Flow in the mountain. Pent Up Calamity also lovely. And look at those elements. Flow Like Water also very good. Flow Like Water, I can just put presence there and then move the presence, right? Like that's ridiculous. Just send everything into this jungle with Flow Like Water. Invader Skip is also a whole fear card. Uh, these are good. These are good choices. I mean, green can get presence all over the island so easily, right? So, and then plus two range on Creeper's Terror is very handy. Two explorers. I mean, just for the two explorers, stops this build and uh, doesn't do anything else. But it stops the build. This also stops the build by, this stops the build by adding disease, which gets used up and striping the one explorer left. This has better elements and it's cheap. I don't have to actually put presence in the mountain, which is hard for me. Um, elements wise, I like pent up calamity a lot more. Flow Like Water is really interesting, though, to think about, like, just putting presence into, like, mountains and sending everything into the jungle. <laughs> I think I like Pent Up Calamity. Uh, I don't have a lot of fire, but I also don't have a lot of anything else that these need, so... Calamity just, like, solves that mountain, and it's also going to be, like, really good, where you can just, like, start piling up tokens in places. Uh, okay. Add a presence to jungle or wetland. Do we even need another plant right now? Does it get us? It might get us a threshold. We're probably playing proliferate though, right? I guess this is too fear. Maybe we place destroyed presence. We're not getting the energy this turn anyway, right? So... Let's place the destroyed presence. Yeah, the only, like, yeah, I'm not, we'll see if we need, If we, do we need the plant? We're playing this and the two free cards and one of the cards that costs one. So we already have three plant, four plant. We never need more than four plant unless we go here, which never happens. I guess actually that might happen. Is that gonna happen? Three water, we don't have three water. Okay, I, I can count on no hands how many times I've gotten to the top threshold of that. <laughs> we don't need the plant is what I'm saying. Uh, we don't need to defend four. We don't need to defend anything. So let's, I'm just thinking of where I want to put this. Just stack it in the jungle and keep it in the jungle. We can easily stack it up there. Let's get another sacred. We don't need another sacred site anywhere. I don't even know. 
The only place they can explore that I care about is here. So, okay, put it here, I guess. These are the decisions I'm making. But the points are made up and they don't matter. Uh, so do we care about a presence or we care about two fear? Is another question. We are not getting to the next fear card either way in the fast phase here. Honestly, Plurphalite is kind of reaching the end of its usefulness. Uh, Overgrow even more so. I guess there's a chance we don't reclaim. There's no chance we don't reclaim, right? We have we're like we're playing four cards, and we don't have enough cards. We need to reclaim every turn right now. In which case, that means we want more energy to be able to keep playing that. So we need this to be able to get the energy. Probably, I think that's the. That's the answer. We need energy to keep playing Pent Up Calamity, so let's do that. Let's get Presence into B2. B2 is where we're going to need to B2. Uh, here, add disease and a strength. That takes care of that. That's. I mean, potentially plus one damage or whatever, but like, they're not building, and then the ravage is nothing. Unless they. There's nothing. No one less, right? Well, the, pending the event. Anyways, I'll defend here with four, and maybe. That's enough if there's like defend six in all lands. <laughs> that's not a thing in turn level one, but you never know, right? I guess there's a chance. Is there a chance they add a town back here in the events? That's not a thing, right? A town in the... We would be able to choose where it goes. And I wouldn't pick there, so... And I land with exactly one to Han. There are none. Because I'm playing Sweden. <laughs> Each beast deals two damage. Remove any token that destroys. And actually here... We have Stem the Float. And we already have a City Destruction... Uh, happening. So what we could do is... I don't know if... Yeah, we could destroy a city and a town by hitting a city with two of this and then finish the city and kill the town. That seems nice. We don't have any other slow damage, right? I don't think so. Uh, and also, reckless offensive. Choose a land with these two to Han and at least two whatever. They are not. There's no such land. That's not going to do anything. That would be fun but it's not gonna happen. Save the beast. Do not build in land with cities. Well, good. That was B2. They're not building another town there. And yeah, prevent the ravage. They explore B1. Welcome to B1. You won't like it here. Uh, all right. Finish off the city. Uh, and actually, I could kill a town here, since they are ravaging here. That gives us a chance, right, to... Actually, we could have we destroyed this city. I don't know if we can go back to the event. We can't, right, because they, they explored. Could have, should have thought about that, because we could have killed the city here. But we killed the city here. You know, killing cities, it's happening. Uh, where are we? Are we not even pushing a town? We're not pushing a town. Push to Han into here and defend it, right? Like, we should be able to defend it next turn. If we reclaim, we get at least defend four, and we kill a town. Defend four, in theory, is enough, and we could put a sacred site just to be super sure. And actually, we can defend more. Defend four and defend more. So let's use the Dahan here. This jungle's now doing nothing, so. All right, and I, I mean, it may, if we reclaim, the problem is we don't have any water. We, if we gain a power card, we, we might not get a water. And then defend three isn't enough. 
and we can't deal with that place. So it's reclaim. Because we can always play our free cards and then we don't have enough plus energy, but we're gonna get we're gonna go to plus three energy. So we can play pent up and free cards basically if we want, or we can not play pent up. Let's take miners and try to get free options that are good. Drift down to slumber. Not actually good, but it's free and has a plant on it. They don't build in target land this turn. We can destroy a presence to make that happen also. So Or yeah, one damage per Han is wrong there. I guess I don't super need to play Pent Up Calamity this turn. Um, Dark and Tangled Woods and the two free cards are plenty of defense for that, even if they get an increase. I could even put Dark and Tangled Woods over here, maybe. Um, and it's more like looking for elements, right? We could even just stop this build by destroying presence. Which I think I will to prevent visibility. Not like, well, yeah, we are going to stage three. So we need to, like, start blowing up these guys. I want cards with fire and moon like this. Okay. How about I click that? Uh, add presence to jungle. Let's go for our full energy meal deal. Now proliferation and overgrow are kind of... Well, Overgrow is just fear at this point. Play the free cards, and then I have three energy total, so it'd be pent up calamity only. Let's save that for next turn. I mean, I could just play this and stop the build without destroying presence. Though I want to play that with pent up calamity, right? I don't have any other fire, though, so it doesn't actually help me get that. And Tangled Woods. So we have, we almost have this. We're so close to this. We're short one water. Not that we have blight where we're defending, but. So we could, instead of playing one of these water cards, play a moon card and do more damage. This doesn't actually do anything because <laughs> we don't have presence to place. We can move presence. It does get us to the top level here. We risk this. We basically put defend five in here. There's some element of risk, but it, it lets us do more. I don't know if it's worth it though. It's only one more damage, right? With a little more risk. Oh, and we can play our set aside power. OMG. Look at that beautiful business. We don't get elements from it, do we? I don't think so. I mean, yeah. Play it. Yeah, we don't get elements from it. But we get to... We'll do it here. Remove Blight. And add Wilds. And get a power card. I mean, yeah. If you can use it. We haven't gotten to stage 3 yet. <laughs> All right, they don't build. We could push Dahan instead. But the two Dahan here are enough to kill the city, so. Defend four there is technically enough, but if they're going to blight somewhere, I'd rather they it'd be blocked here than over there, so. Farmers seek the Dahan for aid. We can spurn the invaders or teach the invaders. Spurn uh, is two damage to Dahan and land with cities and Dahan, which is right here. That's annoying. Add blight to a land with at least two, which is here. That's annoying. They have minus one health. Uh, add one Dahan or one town to a land with that. The next normal ravage becomes a build. That's 
just annoying because we need them to be ravaging to kill them. And we'd add the disease here, I guess. I guess it's burn. It's a blight, but we can, we're can we cleaning up a blight with this. So we lose our presence, but we'll just clean it up. So it's burn. Minus one health helps us too. Uh, we're going to add disease to this land so that these Dahan don't die. Because they're killing the city. One damage per Dahan. Well, they're not using up the disease there anyways. I uh, guess it may as well be here. This is the only place that actually does anything. Bye, city. They explore mountains and wetlands. Alright. Creeper Stare can actually kill a city, stem the flow, can help and kill a town. Yeah. I would wish we had all the, all those things in a mountain or whatever, or sands, but that isn't the case. Uh, let's get rid of their foolishness. One town left, and actually we can send it to where they're going to ravage, right? And let the Dahan kill it. And unrelenting growth, uh, I'm going to add two presents and wilds to a land. Add additional wilds and remove blight. So I think there's wilds here already. So let's go into this jungle again. Uh, sure. Giant stack. And I get a power card. Take a miner and we maybe don't reclaim. Lure the unknown. Love it. I could also remove Blight. I don't know that we're going to the... Like, once this town blows up, we win, right? So I don't know that we're going to the slow phase. So we take Lure the Unknown for no reason? I don't know. Pent up Calamity just, like... Does it? Right? Like, Pent up Calamity... Remove a token and add it back and win. Yeah. We don't need to like add more disease because we already have one disease and we can only have one. So. And literally, they don't has the right elements. So we can get the threshold to return the, the thing back. So, what we can do is reclaim, play Pent Up Calamity, Lure the Unknown, and the other card we have that has fire on it and win. That seems quite all right. Get a power card. No returning from this point, but I think that makes sense, right? We have enough energy, four energy to play those. We get the threshold, we remove the token. Mainly removing the disease token is important for me, so. We could always like wait to the ravage, but I don't wanna let the event decide anything, right? Let's not let the event screw us up. Or we could get more cards that have the right elements for free. And we keep Pent Up Calamity. It's like, I guess I could have clicked a major just to get a different option, but Pent Up Calamity is so nice that I'm happy to keep it as the, the leftover power. Let's continue making our giant stack <laughs> presence. I'll play Lord of the Unknown, though. Still get full, full elements. Look at that. Oh, I can also play Shadows just for fun. Just for even more fire and moon. Uh, all right, 
Pent up Calamity. Remove tokens. I could not kill the town if I wanted to. Return the token. Game over. All right, not terror level one victory this time, but that's a lot harder with uh, green. All right, so before you start the new prediction, Dolphin, unless you already started it, I'm going to go to the bathroom. But tell me if you started it yet. <laughs> Then I won't. <laughs> or you can start it as soon as... It, yeah, waiting. Okay. Uh, it's going to be pent-up calamity, right? I'm going to go to the bathroom and we'll, we'll decide. And I'll be right back. And I'll get another beer. All right. Streaming chair. Streaming chair is safe. Logic Dolphin, you may start the next prediction for the fourth wave. Uh, so, pent up calamity, I think, makes a lot of sense. I'm clicking that. I predict I will win the fourth wave. And I will put up 8,000 points. Uh, the new drink is Garrison Deja Mu. Leave one of each type of spirit token. We actually had an extra wilds token, right? A bunch of extra wilds token. Definitely keep the one in the land with blight. Yeah. I'd love it to be further inland, but that's fine. A milk stout from Garrison. Oh, sorry. The ritual is complete. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Green blocks the ritual. The ritual is complete. Uh, turns out it's Keeper. And Sweden now is where Sweden starts getting real. Fine steel. Towns deal three. Cities deal five. We never had heavy, mi heavy mining go off at all, which is kind of lucky that we got enough defend. They explore the wetlands. Oh yeah, we get our bonus wilds in the back corner. So we do have a disease in a handy spot from the previous game. So that's nice. I have had deja vu before. Ha ha ha. Was that your pun, Spiky Wolf? <laughs> if so, I approve. Uh, can we stop this build? I mean, we certainly can kill whatever later, but actually it's really hard to stop builds with Keeperism, but we can actually put presence here. So by not making a sacred site, 
So that's a whole new idea for Keeper. You don't normally get to do that. What am I using that displays chat for a few seconds? Uh, it is, I believe, called Night Dev Twitch Chat Plugin. If you search for that, you should find it. And it has options that can do that. You can. It doesn't have to turn. Like doesn't have to dismiss after thirty seconds or whatever. But that's an option that I like to use. Well, I think in any case, it's gain a power card, and maybe I get a card that stops that build, right? So, let's see. Major power. I mean, technically, maybe, but... Nature's Resilience now. Well, invaders do not build in target land this turn. I do love to get ahead of them, and having no build at all this turn seems great. We're going to play that, and we're going to make a Sacred Sight, because that requires a Sacred Sight. We are not going to have enough sun to move an Explorer, but we could still potentially add Wilds. I like to... If I, I'm in a situation where I didn't get a card with sun, I like to play two cards so I can, like, get another card. So, I'm going to do that. Because the one sun doesn't do me any favors, right? So... Two sun. You need two suns. Just like, I don't know, the Bible. Uh, no build. No build for you. They build in the wetlands. Haha, -ha, they do not. And they explore the jungles. Except, haha. -ha, only, actually, they didn't even use my wilds up because they didn't build here. I love that. That's so nice. Uh, we can add wilds to another land with no explorers, such as this one or this one. Uh, it's going to be this one. I don't need two, land, two wilds in the land. Let's take another minor power. Mm-hmm-hmm. -hmm, a card with, cards with sun on it. You love to see it. Uh, also, plants are nice. Fires are nice. If this had a sun on it as well, that would be super sweet. So this jungle is a problem. Obviously, this one isn't. What can we do? We can start getting next to there. We can get presence in here. Only one. This is range one of a sacred site, so it, which is important. We can't actually reach anything with that right now. This does let us strafe the city, if that might do enough, which it probably wouldn't do a whole lot. Plus two range lets us eventually get to use our innate power wherever we want. I don't love a lot of this, uh, these options. Because they're all the ones that have sun don't have other things that I want. That's the that's really the problem here, isn't it? This has more elements that I want, but it doesn't have sun. So next turn, I'm probably taking sun, and I can play. I can't play sacrosanct there because it has blight, and I can't get rid of that blight. Yeah, don't love a lot of this. My next turn kind of sucks. I guess Reaching Grasp, Towering Wrath lets me do reach out and do two damage anywhere. Which has some value. Twilight Fog lets me strife the city here, which leaves it at five damage, which is one less blight. And that's not nothing. And we do get our, our innate... And it's free. Yeah, Twilight Fog, I guess. I guess I'll take it. We can remove the Blight later if we want. I guess we can choose where we go, but we're almost certainly going here. But we'll gain a power card. I think we're not going to reclaim, right? That doesn't. 
We could all, I guess, yeah, this is range two, land with Dahan. There's no Dahan, and we can't get Dahan there. Well, we can, but we, that seems like a lot, right? No, we can't even. There's no Dahan in the land with wilds. Well, yeah, we could, we could use it here. I don't know. We could, we could use it here, push the Dahan in here, use rights land rejection. Is that worth worth it reclaiming we have enough energy for it it saves uh dahan conversion except it doesn't because he's going into this place um i guess moving it out of here would be more likely to save anything but we want him to kill the explorer it's not a huge deal though if we do that we do get to add wilds somewhere else which has value if we put it here we know it's not going to get used up if we put it here it might get used up to little effect so i think i would put it here it's really weird to reclaim like on the first turn that way but i'm thinking more about it so the alternative to that so that line is like reclaim and play rights and sacrosanct. Push the Dahan in here. Use sacrosanct to stop the build. It only stops a town. It's not like the end of the world. If there's a town. That means I don't get to strike the city also. I don't know that I... I'd, I'd rather than build a town. Because it's six damage. And it would be five. It's not even five. Stupid... It's a lot of damage. It's too much damage. Why am I even thinking of anything? It's way too much damage. Sweden. Sweden. It's a million damage. So is that land just too blight? If that land is just too blight, and we think about doing stuff in the slow phase, right? That's probably smarter. Like, give up on that land. It's too blight. It's literally going to be 16 damage, right? Or 5, 8, 11, 12 damage. Even taking out 5, you still got 7 damage. I'd rather strife like something else that I might be able to do anything about. We can always remove blight, like slowly so maybe actually we we don't play that this turn we play it next turn <laughs> to get rid of the blight so we instead of like hastily trying to do something there that doesn't work let's just get better try to find cards that match our elements call to 10 remove a blight add beasties push again not the best elements here not the best element combinations that's the thing right I don't often take call to tend I don't often take fiery doom I don't often take I don't often take any of these cards to be honest this is like the lineup of four cards it's like could I take a new four cards, please? That would be cool. I wouldn't mind a new set of four cards. Uh, adding beasts with the event might help to whittle down stuff. I mean, this is destroy a thing with beasts, which isn't too bad. Like, once you start getting beasts around... And we know there's going to be stuff in the jungle, like, for a long time. I know that removing Blight might be something we need to worry more about, though, so I'm going to take Call to Tend. I don't, I don't like it, but it's second wave. And we're going to get into here. Because this is a very central land. I want to be getting closer to the coast, and this is getting closer to the coast. All right. There's no Blight in the jungle this turn. Probably, maybe. Uh, we can remove the blight here. 
We don't really have anything else to do this turn. Uh, this could add wild somewhere we want it to be. It could also consolidate some uh, Dahan. But right now, it actually doesn't consolidate. Well, it could it could move these two Dahan into a place where they won't get converted in stage two. So maybe that's got some value. I don't really need to add more wilds in here, though. And I can't actually use it in there, can I? Where could I use this? It's, it's only range one, so I could use it here or here. I guess making wilds here is OK. It's not great. Put the Dahan all here. Just like makes them less likely to get killed. We only have six Dahan. It's like a brand new game. Uh, so there's that option versus Twilight Fog, which saves us two energy. And we strife like. If we strife a city here, like maybe they don't. Maybe we can get them down to less damage and only blight once. That's like a maybe. Versus adding a wilds token, which like has a for sure benefit. Not a huge benefit, but especially if we use it here, it's not like. The problem is if we move use it here, the explorer is still alive. I guess we could use it here. And move this one here. That might be better, right? Put the wilds here. Yeah, let's do that. This guy is kind of like a lost cause almost. Right? Like. I kind of give up on him already. Event card. Rising interest in the island. We could weave lies because we could forget Twilight Fog. That is the way we could do that. We have no other air. And actually, it's a pretty good time to do that. And if we don't, we get into stage two immediately, which I don't love. Uh, yeah, well, we blizzard and forget Twilight Fog and add beast to jungle. Cool, more beasts in there and add wilds also here or here. Sure. Uh, I don't know why. I guess if I discard it, I eventually, I eventually have to forget this, right? Even if I like click all these things, I end up having to forget this. There's no other option. It's funny. It's the only way. Uh, beasties go here. We got closer to terror level two, and add a wilds. So we have options. Three options. I kind of like here because, well, here's good too. Here prevents them. I don't know what this card is. I guess we know it's not wetlands. So we know the wilds would stay. I don't really want the wilds token to get used up if it's here. That's the thing. So I think it's here. They do explore the mountains, and this token gets used up. Like, having one explore here when there's a city already, it's like, whatever, right? Like, that doesn't make a big difference. Remove the one blight on the island. Well, hang on, just in case. Does it make more sense to push to Han? Probably not. Like, we're not defending this. It's 12 damage. Uh, remove the blight. We could push it to Han, but they're still in danger. This guy's going to be in danger, kind of, no matter what we do. So, uh, we could add a wilds to this jungle. We could add a wilds back to this mountain. Yeah, if anyone needs wilds, it's places that are empty, right? So, 
mountain could come up next turn again. So let's keep it continuing to be empty. Saves us a lot of energy and resources. If they can't find the land, they can't build there and they can't ravage there. Keep it all wilderness. All right, we, can, we remain super poor on energy, but uh, we're doing our best, maybe. Are we? I don't know. We're doing something. Uh, this is a turn. There's going to be two Blight here, almost certainly. Um, I mean, not super certainly, but very likely there's going to be two Blight there. So we gain a power card, and we get to play two. We could go for a major, but we're gonna have we're gonna want to play Tarring Wrath and this, so we're gonna need energy. So let's take a minor one more time, I think, because Tarring Wrath we're gonna actually get be able to hit at least one of these lands for two damage. It's not amazing. It's actually not, probably not even worth it. It's two fear though. I guess we could take a different. We could take a major instead. Get a major power instead as an option. If it's a major, it could end up being something like Indomitable Claim, right? Like that would be amazing. So we've got forget fodder, right? Let's call to tend. Let's try it. Tigers hunting. We don't have presence in the jungle near that. That's too bad. Poisoned land. Pyroclastic flow. We don't have presence in the mountain. Well, we could. It also adds blight. Yeah, that would cascade. It's not great. Pillar of Living Flame also causes blight in that land. But we could actually Pillar of Living Flame here. That's pretty good. That's quite good. Because uh, it's range two from a sacred site. There's going to be a sacred site here. None of these say defend 20, do they? That's okay, though. Could put presence here for poison land. But it is cheap. But it adds blight. Tiger's hunting would be very nice here. It would be three damage. Which kills a city. It's still not like enough, but like it's so cheap and it has sun. <laughs> so can we afford Pillar of Loving Flame and Regrow from Roots? I don't think so. I think it's oh wait, we're getting We're getting an energy here, and we're getting plus four. So we're getting six energies we can play that and regrow as an an option it's not like great elements obviously for for keeper but it does solve this mountain problem pretty neatly by doing five damage killing this the city and the town generating almost a whole fear card obviously including the damage it is a fear card I think that's the best choice here out of what we've got. If we had presence in this jungle already, then Tiger's Hunting, I probably would pick it even though we're going to blow up, but let's pick that and let's forget. In Call to Tend, we might get to use, but it's going to be hard for us to use, so goodbye. Uh, and add a Sacred Sight, and we need more energy. And these Dahan have to leave. And I'm gonna send them. I guess they won't explore B1, right? B1's like with the wilds, they actually can't go in there. So the Dahan are safe for stage two here. I guess not. They could explore coastal lands and then explore wetlands, but we'll have time if that's what happens. All right, cool. I know we're spending all our energy and not growing twice, which is probably a mistake, but we're playing we're playing to what we got. Stage do plus one damage, one ravaging. Well, that's fine. They're already doing a million damage. 
All right, add a disease. And something happened with the Han that didn't happen. And it's wetlands, so they don't do anything, which is great. All right. Take the light back. Blow up. Blow it all up. Blow it all up. Give us fear cards. We're actually, if we get another fear in the fast phase, we get two fear cards at level two. Something to think about. If we can do damage like with this, or sorry, fear with that, or something else. And we can add a wild token. So they're not gonna explore here for a while. Which means we could put a wilds token. Oh, but there's explorer there. We don't. We didn't get any sun. So we can only put it in like places where we already have wilds tokens, I guess. I was like, here's coastal, so that would be good. But we can't actually. Guess we'll just put it here. Actually, is that sacred sanctuary say damage per wilds token? Yes, it does say that. Oh, it does say that? It says that. Okay, I'm clicking that. <laughs> <laughs> There's our fear card. Two towns. Which blocks exploring. I mean, that already was wilded, but you know what I'm saying. Block more explorers, kill more towns, win more things. Uh, okay. Do we reclaim our cards? How far are we from reclaim one? So far. So far away. Uh, we reclaim cards and we add presents, probably. We can't be not adding presents. We actually have a nice quiet moment here. So, reclaim cards. We can play Sacrosanct Martyr because there's like no Ravage and there's no build. And there's probably not a whole lot of Explorer. And they can convert this town. That is a thing. That Dahan is at risk. But actually, is he at risk? Yeah, he's at risk. He's going to be at risk. I could gain a power card and maybe save him, but I could also play this to save him and move him here. That's a thing. That could happen. Oh, they are building here, aren't they? I could make them not build there. Uh, I'm probably going to take this to move towards three card plays next turn. So this turn, it's Sacrosanct. I mean, I don't have to kill these towns, but it just feels nice. I got two wilds in there. Um, maybe that's not the right call, though. Maybe the call is... Well, if we stop this build... I, did, I guess how important is that we save this guy if they explore mountains? Is it super important? I don't know. Maybe. It's like a 50-50, not a 50-50 chance. It's like there's a less than 50% chance it's mountains. So it's like a 25, 30% chance, something like that. If only there was a mathematician in the audience. Uh, we could just stop the build. I like stopping the build with rights. So say we do that. This guy's dying in the Ravage, but if they explore in the mountain, the Escalation will convert him to a town. Not a huge deal. It's just a thing that would happen. That's the chance I'm talking about. Um, I think preventing this build is more important. Um, how important is to save a life versus stopping them building? That's the... Because <laughs> I could use this to move this guy, right? Like, that's a thing I could do. Uh, I don't have anything else in the fast phase, so that would be like gain a power card instead of adding presence, right? And actually, I can only add presence, like, to land with the wilds, which I... I guess I could have put presence here. 
if I had put wilds there, which I still could go back and do that. But I think just killing these towns just is so satisfying. I want to do that, even though it's wrong. So let's just put presents here. It adds more to the sacred sites around that place that I'm going to want. I want to save a little energy so we can living flame. Like if they do explore mountains, then I'll just like blow it, blow it straight to hell, right? So that seems fine. I'll just do that again. We could get blight, but meh. Stop the build. Kill this stuff. And carry on until morning. How often do you get four damage from that? Not that much, right? Usually you just get two. We get our fear cards at a higher level. That's There's value to that, that's for sure. All right, we have years of little rain. I do not have a land with Dahan, so I would not get any of the benefits from Act to Eats the Drought. I would just not have the downside. Adding Blight to a Sands is like fine. Reducing health doesn't do anything at all for me. I take the take the chances of let the plants die. I'm not spending a bunch of resources for no benefit. If it gave me a presence, then yes. But that's not the case. Wither! It has water. Haha. -ha. Nothing happens. Beast attack. Oh, this is exciting. We can actually We can arrange this so a beast hits no, I think we have to lose one of these beasts, right? That's kind of what happens here. Because there's two damage. So, like, the explorer can... But you can do explorer town. No, the town dies because they have minus one health. I mean, I want to kill all this stuff, but... Certainly the city. You know what? The beasts... I love beasts, but I also love not having buildings even more. So, sorry, beasts. We'll get you back. We'll get you back. But with the minus one health, <laughs> we're taking advantage. <laughs> and now there's no visibility of this stuff for Explorer. Defend six in coastal lands. Cool. All right, this game seems over now. Remove two or one from a land with Dahan. Hey, look. Now they're not going to... Uh... Well, no, they're still, they still have a chance to do that, right? This is whatever. Go away. Gather into a coastal land, defend. Oh, hey, okay. So we can gather this town into a coastal land and defend two in all coastal lands so this Dahan kills this town and we win. GG. Okay, GG. Guess we won the game on accident. <laughs> All right, onward, fifth wave. Cue it up, Logic Dolphin. The keeper, in which keeper wins the game on accident. 61 points. Fifth wave. So the first wave was a thousand. Second wave was two thousand. Third wave was four thousand. Fourth wave was eight thousand. Fifth wave, sixteen thousand points are up for grabs from me. And luckily, I have a major power. I like. I might not have taken a major power and like won accidentally. That's. And then I would be like, well, I guess... I mean, Towering Wrath is pretty good. Towering Wrath is actually very, very good. Because the, the spirit playing it is considered of a sacred site in every land. So this is actually better, maybe? Then Pillar of the Flame, we don't get to worry about the... It's So 5 fear and 10 damage versus 2 fear and, like, say this land is, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 damage. Yeah, Living Flame's probably still better. 
there's no Dahan destruction, and maybe there's a Blight, but yeah, Living Flame. All right, fifth wave. I don't see the the thing yet, but I I'm sure Dolphin is create crafting some clever messages. Uh, let's leave leave it in the jungle there. I like protecting the back court, especially if there's no. Well, we have disease in the uh, blighted land, which is nice. And let's get. Uh, I don't like these solitary Dahan. I'm going to send one back here where he's safe. Serpent and Sweden four. Accelerate the invader deck and adding towns. The ritual is complete. All right. One town is added to the wetland with the fewest invaders. So we've got mountains and we still have the whole business of this being a million damage, nine damage. Also they're building and then they're ravaging. So it's gonna be 12 damage. That might be just blighting, like the jungle last time. Oh, and they move the they move the blight. Yeah, they do that. I guess I should have left the the wilds here. There's a town there though, right? So it doesn't matter. All right, serpent. What's serpent doing? Defending for two. LOL. Doesn't really work that well against Sweden, does it? Where they. By default, their basic ravage is going to be four damage. I guess absorbing ourselves helps defend this, and maybe, 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 maybe not get double blight there if we went into here. Is there a prediction, Dolphin? Did I miss it? What's happening? Should I reload? I'm reloading. I need a fifth wave. Fifth wave prediction. There's the results. Oh, everyone missed it. Okay, so it's not there yet. Dolphin's, Dolphin's going to get there. I trust Dolphin. Just like ping me on Discord in case I miss it. If I if I don't obviously see it in time. Uh, all right, gain a power card and add presence. I could go straight to major power, but I think you got to be adding presence, right? Always be presencing because we got to get to that two card plays. So the first play is probably absorb. I mean, you can always. I think it's good to have the second turn be the big turn where you play Serpent Solo is a whole different thing because you can play Flowing Power and El Primordial Deeps like you can get extra card plays. So getting your elements together with that are very strong. So I think the first turn is Absorb. And second turn is Aegis and Gift and or whatever, one of the gifts. And we go from there. But let's see what the power card we get is. Because I think it's going to be a minor power. Destroy and explore. We could stop the build. Steam vents. That's kind of tempting since this is like kind of a lost cause. We could steam vents that. The elements are pretty good for, for Serpent. We didn't find a plant. Which is like if there was a card with plant I would have clicked it already. Don't worry. Uh, steam vents to stop the build just like solidifies that tempo like we've been talking about all night uh, so yeah that's what's happening it's steam vents right like there's no reason to not play steam vents it's great elements we don't need to play Aegis next turn we just ignore B2 
I am down for Steam Vents. That's our play. Not even Absorb, just Steam Vents. Perfect. We've already won. We played Steam Vents. All right, I have a slow power that, oh, Dolphin is AFK, that's all right. You can, you can get there. We do a damage. And they explore jungles. All right, we're waiting. The new prediction is coming at any, at any moment. And there's a disease here, so that helps a little bit. So this, like Aegis is doing nothing here, right? Like 12 damage, 12 damages. A lot. The most important thing is zero damage here. And zero damage here. So that gives us a leg up. We can try to maybe even stop this by blowing them up and... Yeah, I make the prediction. Dolphin, get in there. Predict the serpent. Wave five. Richard has predicted that you make a prediction. Uh, we get two card plays. Will John win the fifth wave? Oh, no. Let me click it. With 16,000 points on the line, I say yes. So get your votes in. Do you think I will win? Do you think I will not win? 16,000 of my personal handle lever points are available. I'm apparently up 10,000 on the night, so this is a good strategy for me to get more points, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking all your points <laughs> that's not what I meant to do we'll see I've got to win though right I've got to be winning <laughs> okay get serious get serious John alright we have two card plays assuming we add presents what are we playing? We could play both of the gifts and absorb essence. And the goal is to get stuff to s reduce this and also stop. Uh, obviously, all of these towns are annoying, but we have one place we can get rid of a town. I kind of want to be here because there's lots of zero range stuff. So let's gain a power card first. It's honestly a, a time we could take a major and then decide for four energy to like blow this to crap, right? Like if we pick a, get a major that like does a ton of damage in the either slow or fast phase, like celery rot, four damage, cleansing floods, um, manifest incarnation, remove the city. Firevine and things like that. Like there's there are powers that like could really sort this out where we take the four energy, but then we only get to play one card. So I feel like that's not what we want to do. It's minor and next turn major. Lure the unknown. Fire in the sky. Love that. Strife. This has plant. The other cards don't have plant, you may notice. Fire in the Sky is excellent. Lord of the Unknown is also excellent. These are two of my favorite cards in the game. So it's Lord of the Unknown. Uh, if you vote no and lose, I can't vote. That's the thing. I'm not able to actually vote because I voted. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not able to. Uh, I cannot manage the prediction, so I cannot uh, enter the result. It is only other moderators who have not voted so uh i.e dolphin or you know zach or someone could come and do it but i mean you can't be sure that me and mark are not colluding to ruin you but you know take it up with twitch i trust loot our logic to do the right thing uh okay let's add presents I kind of, we didn't get a card that we wanted for that. 
Lord of the Un actually doesn't do anything <laughs> this turn. It does really nothing this turn, doesn't it? Oh, I clicked on it. But neither does the other card, right? Lord of the Un is free. There's no place that I can gather someone. <laughs> that's the problem. Uh, it's a card maybe I want for another turn. Maybe that's it. I don't want it for this turn. I want it for another turn. I want to put my presence in a place where I can destroy the towns that are opening visibility, right? So I want to be here. Uh, even though you think I might want to be here, I want to be here to destroy this town, and then they won't be able to look in here later. So we're going to play these two. Right? Yeah, and I gain one energy, and I play Absorb Essence. So, yeah. I guess I wanted the... I wanted the elements for that, but... It's just an energy right now, so it's okay. I want the plant, like... I want eventually more plants. That's kind of the, the goal. Uh, now we're going to gain a minor power. So we can't go back. Plants, 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 plants. Plant and water and earth. Remove blight from sands. I mean, that works. Uh, gather. This is actually very good. This destroys stuff. That actually does stuff this turn. I mean, removing blight technically does as well. But... Uh, does getting an other earth? No, I already destroyed this town. That's already happening. But this lets us destroy both of these towns. Joint hunt is nice. It also helps us manage Dahan movement. I, you know, technically these cards exist as well. Uh... Clicking in the card that has plant, I think. I mean, the card that has water and earth and plant is certainly something to think think about. They are probably going to add blight here. But destroying this town and this town seems nice. I guess... It doesn't still... This still is opened up because of this, so... I don't know. Maybe Renewing Rain is better. I don't have any other Blight removal. I'm going to click on Renewing Rain. I, oh, I need a Sacred Sight. Hang on. I need to go back. I don't have a Sacred Sight. <laughs> oh, no. I clicked on Do, and there's nothing. There's nothing. Uh, is there an error in the log? It's showing me things that don't make any sense. I'm going to go back to the main menu and continue. I'm not happy about this. In the log, it is showing me other cards. Poison do, rights of land rejection, sty stretches, and voracious growth. So there's a problem. There's a problem. All right, I'm going to report a bug. This is used. What's the card? Gift of the Primal Deeps. The log indicates it's trying to 
select cards that aren't even choices that I had. I can go I can go from this bug report to continue, so don't worry. Developer powers. This is probably something to do with new things that we've been working on, so a new bug. All right, I need to go to the Trello card. We're just gonna do a developer rewind. This might work. Nope. Let's just go back to the start of the fast power phase. All right, flowing power, absorb essence, primordial deeps. Yeah, it was showing me like the log was like listing cards that were not this. <laughs> so something was super wrong. It's not a cheat, not a cheat. All right, I can't, I don't have a sacred site, so I can't use renewing grain this turn, which means this is the card I'm clicking. But wait. I don't have enough energy to pay, play it. Oh no! <laughs> I need to use the reserve first. spurs. I that was that's just a dumb that's just a dumb right. You can say I'm cheating if you want, but that's just a dumb that I should have realized I had zero energy. Uh, that I should have played absorb and spurs. If you think I'm cheating, then cheat me. Gain an element. I mean, I don't know that I was getting plant, so I'm gonna click plant. How about that? I'm not resetting RNG until I find the card I want. All right, I click the event. We're not going back again. I screwed up, I screwed up. They are investigating dangers. They added an explorer in the only land they could. Each explorer destroys one presence, add beast to a board, or sorry, add each, well, whatever, words. Add beasties, uh, probably B2. There's gonna be blight there. Some powers don't work, but I don't know, maybe the back. Maybe here. If they're going to do something next turn, I want it to be here, right? So. And then what did the other thing do? Use a power, but I didn't have. Yes, yes. Heavy mining. All right, all right, all right, all right. Stop, stop killing me. Mountains again. All right. Now the game is trying to get me. Game is trying to get me. Get an energy. We're gonna have to get real here. Because this this is blighting the island and this is making us lose the game. Uh okay. A fear card. So now, now what? Nine damage. Aegis is gonna do defend three. Lure could get us down to six damage. Defend three is three damage. That's not quite the kind of level we need, is it? Is it time for a major power and we gotta get something good? This is a whole problem. The only thing that can stop this is like indomitable claim or other like cancel actions stuff. Like nothing that we can do normally. We need major powers or, or we lose here. So we have to 
try for a major powers that can can let us survive that. Blazing renewal, we don't have to destroy presence. We could get some. Next turn. Uh, it would not be enough, would it? Terrifying Nightmares and Aegis does defend this. Does it? No, it's, it doesn't even. It doesn't even. Uh, Tiger's Hunting does two damage. These are not enough. Uh, we don't have the threshold on this. Hmm. I like Blazing Renewal. If we put a presence in here just to get destroyed in which to put it in here next turn and have somewhere have some other defense i guess we actually almost have the elements for the threshold Very expensive though. I mean, Aegis basically lets us not get two blight in here. There's still one blight. So we take renewal for next turn. I mean, we probably take another major next turn and hope for like something better, but. I think it does potentially help. I wish there was only one explorer here. It's annoying. Uh, at Lord of the Unknown's not going to do enough. I think we have to click this and bring it something else. I need the plants. Sorry, steam vents. Uh... Probably have to add presence. Yeah, we have to add presence so that we can lose it. So Aegis, somewhere. Uh, oh, it's still six damage, so it means we need to pull a town out or explore, but guess yeah actually a town because of no it doesn't actually change anything because they're building so it may as well be a town that we can destroy their innate which we can't because we don't have the elements does it still matter i mean they might get another plus one damage right so it probably should be a town all right it's not going good it's not going good but you never know uh Form a build step for one train not shown. Cool. Uh, each beast does two damage. If my presence was still alive, then that would be cool. We could destroy the city, but my presence will be gone. That's going to be close. It's going to be two damage. Add Dahan to a mountain or sands with Dahan. There are no such lands. Sadness. I guess a fear card could do something, but it could like remove the explorer. I don't know, but we'll do that. Add strife. Oh, do we? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> we should hit this eight twice. We could have destroyed it. The problem is, if we don't lose our presence, we don't have any destroyed presence. We could strike the city and not take a blight, and then this definitely cascades. I mean, not definitely, but we don't get to use Blazing Renewal. Like, 
I mean, if I use Blazing Renewal, like, there's still gonna be two explorers and a city. Oh, man, this is tricky. This is tricky. So, if we strike this city, it sticks around. And we don't lose our presence. And we don't play Blazing Renewal. We dig for another major. We hope to get something that doesn't cascade. I mean, we don't reveal the Blight card. So, that's something. The Blight card might be good. It might be bad. I mean, you probably try to avoid Blight in the Island, right? Like, that seems, like, smart. We do have two lands we have to deal with that are both ridiculous. The, the Blazing Renewal thing is kind of a long shot anyway. Because even if we put the Presence there, there's still seven damage. Pending, hopefully, you know, if we have some other card that can do one damage. Like, Steam doesn't actually deal damage, does it? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there's seven damage if we can't kill that city if we can kill the city then you know maybe but that's still a lot how much elements do we have on our tracks fire and moon we need we would need one fire and two earth and one plant that's tough with one more card play. Oh, actually, Absorb Essence with the any plant would do it. For the four, plus four more damage. Right? Because Absorb Essence has fire and earth. So it's just the one more plant. So we get the four damage in that land. Which does finish off everything else. So in the interest of not cascading here. We don't strike this city? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is what a play. I don't know. That means that we can play Blazing Renewal. We have to also play Absorb Essence. Assuming, we, yeah, we got to Reclaim. Reclaim move presence, and gain energy so we can afford afford it. Or I think we might be able to do this. Yikes. Okay. So we're not adding presence from our tracks, which is another problem. We are blighting the island, but we're definitely blighting the island next turn. Almost definitely, unless we happen to get Indomitable Claim. Or, like, there's literally two cards that could stop it here. Make sure they're not in the discard. Uh, Indomitable Claim. Well, three. Okay, Infinite Vitality. Indomitable Claim. And the one that prevents invader actions. I think. Like, those are the only cards... That's not even enough damage. Uh, that's not enough defense. Whatever the one is. There's a card that says they skip their actions. That's the one. There's like three out of 38 that we find the card. Well, we three out of four cards out of 48. <laughs> Whatever. It's very small. It's not super small, but it's relatively small. Man. I think... The Blazing Renewal line is more sure, right? Like, we know we can do this. We can get the Threshold. We can stop this Cascade. This does Blight here, probably, pending the Fear card. There might be a Fear card where that doesn't happen. So, yeah. I'm clicking here. We had one Blight. Can't go back. Erosion of Will. Two Fear per player. Each spirit destroys a presence. Hey, look! We already have it. We have destroyed. Pre we could destroy two presents and put it. Over, make a sacred site over here. Uh, but I think that seems unwise.
Also, they're building another city, but I think... Oh, man, coastal lands. I think there's going to be one explorer left <laughs> after the placing renewal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And they're building in a land. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, they're going to build in either sands or wetlands or jungle. And jungle, right? It's not coastal. And they only build in one. Boy, howdy. Uh, rouse and anger. Unfortunately, we only have one earth. Give me an energy. That's going to help. And I'm not even there. So. All right, all right, all right. So we have to reclaim. Because we need... I mean, we could gain a power card, and maybe it's got the elements, right? Uh, we're playing this. We need one more fire, two earth, and one plant, right? The problem is that... Oh, this is an any. So potentially, we could gain a power card and add presence, and use the presence... For the earth if we find a card that has earth and plant and fire is there such a minor power there's no such minor power right earth plant and fire what are the odds of that i don't remember if there's one such power oh there it rouse the trees and stones I don't like the odds of that, honestly. <laughs> I don't like the odds of clicking that and failing and then being screwed. <laughs> I guess if I click this and fail, I can still reclaim, right? I could also click major, but I don't have the energy for that. It would be, that'd be relying on getting indomitable claim or something. There are cards that have the right elements in the major deck. But not I guess I could do that and gain plus four and then play two majors. <laughs> that would be amazing. Is that what I want to try for? Help me decide. Uh there's one card in the minor deck that would do it. So that's one out of fifty five. Well four four out of fifty five. Not a great not a great chance. There's Elemental Boon that counts too, so whatever, however that works. Unless Elemental Boon is gone. It's not. And do you have these counted? No. Major powers would have to also be affordable with 5 more energy. So like 6, yeah, okay, it's cost 6 is like most powers. So it would be I mean any card that also solves the problem counts, but Pent Up Calamity has the right elements. That would be amazing. We could also, like, do other things with it. Um, unlock the gates would work. Uh, and, of course, Indomitable Claim would be ideal. Indomitable Claim would be amazing. This is five damage, right? Yeah, that's not the heavy mining. We only have three blight. <laughs> we don't have a lot of leeway here. We can't not make this work. We can't choose a path that will fail. We, d we do have a path that we know will work with Absorb Essence. Because we get the any for the plant. Right? Is that, that is right, right? Where's the extra earth coming from? Oh, we're probably, we're, are we, did we fail already by not thinking about the extra plant? Where's our other card play? Do we play, that's not enough. What are we getting in our extra plant? Did we already screw that up in our plan? Where did I think I had another plant? That doesn't work, right? 
Because we need three earth. Three earth. Or was it reclaim? Add presence. But that's not enough. There's not enough energy. There's only six energy. We need seven. We do fail. We can't get the any also. I think we're short there. We're short one element. So we do have to take a risk on a power card. So like the, the best chance I think is trying for a major that we have the option to either gain energy and play both of them. Right, am I missing something? We have a fire. That's all we have. So we play this, we have two fire, one earth, one plant. We need one fire, two earth, and one plant. This covers fire, this covers one of the earth, and none of the plants. We need one earth and one plant. We get an any. Uh, so we're, we have one of either of those elements. The problem is this cannot provide either of them. It provides fire and water, which we don't need. This provides earth, but it doesn't work right. So yeah, we're not missing something. We did screw that up. So we have to go with the chance of getting a power card. And I think the best chance is major based on what we're talking about, that there's literally one card in here that has the right elements that we need to play with that. Like if we play this and this and, and take the any, it works. But that's one out of, or four chances out of 55, whereas the major has more options, so major fingers crossed this is not looking great these are all slow not great I don't know that we lose the game yet we might lose the game uh, because if they add two blade and cascade, we lose. So that's that's losing, isn't it? This has fire and plant, but where's the earth coming from? It's not. I think we lose now. Why are these all slow? Why are these all slow? Maybe we should have accelerated the invader deck. Gets us our pillar living flame faster. I think we lose unless fear slash event helps us, which is a thing that could happen. So I think we have to try leaning on the fear card then. That's all we got right now. So does that mean adding presence or reclaiming? If we add, yeah, if we, we could move presence and reclaim an Aegis to try to hope for a defend more, but we don't even have, how do we get enough fear? Blazing Renewal, I assume we're playing, that's kind of the thing, because we destroy enough towns to generate a fear card. I guess we could Blazing Renewal into this land, so we don't have to reclaim, except we don't have enough energy. We could play one of these cards, except doesn't do anything. It just does do something to potentially save our bacon. If we get the event that says they build instead of ravage, that's kind of the best thing right now. Uh, I'm flailing. I'm spiraling. Uh, what are these cards? Firevine is probably the best one to pick. I don't... I. I'm kind of not focusing on these cards a whole lot because none of them do 
enough or have the elements so I'm just gonna equip that let's forget pact of the joined hunt that wasn't central to our plan was it uh to get add a presence to get an any or a water doesn't seem great reclaim or we could gain energy and play both of these or we could reclaim blazing renewal i mean still makes sense to blazing renewal here does it there's so much damage uh i don't know that it matters that's three blight right here automatically right the blazing renewal here gets us if we don't move i guess we could move a presence here and blaze roll here. We could blaze roll here, basically. That's the thought. I think we still try to Aegis there. Because, like, there's a chance we get Defend in all lands, and that stops this Blight. And I don't know. I don't think there's a whole lot that we can try for here, but... Why cannot that go there? Move Presence. What is the problem? Oh, I see. Each presence can only move one. Well, I don't have presence of sands anymore. You know what? It's okay. I'm not playing that. Uh, I mean, we go. We go for. Does this do anything? Gets us energy, assuming we survive. We go for it, I guess. Guess we. There could be a minor power that helps us. There's like a million damage here, right? Nineteen damage. This this loses us the game already so there's no like situation where we defend this and we're okay it's defending this but there's no minor power that defends that i don't even know there's nothing that defends this there's no way out of this right there's only events that might say there's no ravage like that's literally it that's literally it I, I'm not worrying too much about it. Uh, I guess there's a chance that there's a miner that helps. Hang on. If we... A miners that, is there miners that do damage in the fast phase? Like, without Dahan? Because that... There, it usually has to be Dahan. That's sacred site. I think they all have Dahan, right? Miners that have damage. Just thinking if I could, like, because I'm doing two damage to everything, if I could, like, ping those cities, like, that potentially does something I guess I could play the other gift just like max out elements but then I don't have enough energy so yeah I don't have a lot of energy so just literally playing this is better than worrying about that I don't think any of these do anything I mean lure the unknown takes an explorer away that's it We're gonna just click this. They do not build in target land or push three to Han. You know what? Maybe there's a fear card that says to Han do a bunch of damage, right? Use a slow power as if it were fast. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We don't win yet, but we we have a chance. Because there's still three explorers there, and they're still cascading. I'm still depending on things I don't have, but I can kill the cities. So we have another fear card. All right. 
There's only three damage there now. We're not losing now. Well, we are losing now. <laughs> oh, the event card did not help. But the fear card might. What did the event card even do? Remove health. All right, that's good. Add explorer. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, that is not great. That This fear card does not help us. I think removing an explorer from here does potentially help. It, if they do, if I do get remove a town, it saves the game. So, I, I would love to remove a city, but oh no, this is not good enough. All right, GG. That's it's not good enough. Sure. Don't build a city. Choose for me. Here's where we click to lose. We have lost. The Blight Pool ran out. Sadness. Well, that was fun trying to weasel our way out of defeat, but wave five has proven our end and logic dolphin has indicated the winner sparky wolf has received 16,000 points <laughs> 22,000 points <laughs> enjoy your points uh serpent could not wake up fast enough to deal with what was going on so that's the end of the waves. Sweden has succeeded. And Wildfire didn't even get to show up. Wildfire might have done better in that game than Serpent did. Serpent was, I was like, already behind. Even though I stopped some builds, just like, that double mountain, that double mountain was it. That that, that was not a problem. That was not something I could survive. Uh, so, yeah. That's right. Logic Dolphin segueing right into... Make sure to consider the 20,000 point elaborate reward to join Spirit Island Saturday. Uh, but not right now because Spirit Island Saturday is not happening for Christmas and New Year's, but in January. <laughs> there will be more Spirit Island Saturdays. There's going to be one this week, uh, and but not the following couple weeks. I'd also start betting higher amounts against me. So yeah, maybe next time I do this, I'll get past wave five and it will be up to uh, even more points. 32,000, 64,000, 128,000. You never know. Uh, I don't have 256,000 to spend, but you know, if I get that far, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll go all in. Uh, this Saturday isn't Christmas. This Saturday should be a regular the final 2021, that's the year, right? Current year, hashtag current year. Uh, Spirit on Saturday. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we will get this build with the fancy undo features uh, available uh, to preview on that. So that's the plan. Anyways, I'm tired. This has been a long stream, so I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you for watching, and thank you for betting your points. Have a good night.